Uh, hi, I'm Derek. Uh, this is Boise Cylinder Head Services Machine Shop here. I'm a lead tech here. Um, this is what we're going to be discussing today. This is a Comec resurfacing machine, uh, RP900MVA. Uh, this is where we do about 50% of our resurfaces here in the shop. Uh, right now, we got about a week's worth of aluminum shavings. Uh, from all the resurfacing that we've done, this machine needs to be maintenance. So I'm going to clean that up real quick before I uh, move forward. Uh, always remember, whenever you're working in a machine shop, to wear your safety glasses. It's very important. Safety first. Alrighty. We're just gonna we're just gonna vacuum this thing up real quick, get it cleaned up, and prep for work. <laughs> cleaned up we just got to wipe her down uh, make it look nice and pretty for the most part <laughs> it's always really good to keep a clean and tidy work environment less accidents and uh, more productivity it's very important Alright, now that we got that done, uh, we're ready to set up for some work. Um, so this thing, this resurfacer, Comec RP900, uh, uses some carbide cutters. Um, this one is for aluminum, and uh, it has a little different uh, material content in the cutter. Uh, they are C uh, carbide cutters, uh, and we use different ones for aluminum and a different one for cast iron. Um, I'm going to remove the cast iron cutter from the machine and show you what that one looks like. Pretty much the same thing, just a little bit different uh, uh, makeup. We just got to take this uh, Allen wrench here and unscrew the Allen bolt. Now this cutter bolts into this disc that we have down here and uh, it spins about 900 RPMs uh, per minute. Well, yeah, per minute. 
Um, and as it spins, the table will move and it'll clean up a surface of a cylinder head that we'll bolt down right here onto these two fixtures. Um, we have a Subaru cylinder head, uh, something we worked a lot on, uh, already resurfaced. I'm going to bolt it down and show you how it clamps into the machine uh, before we resurface it. Um, we got a size 19 wrench that we use to loosen up the fixtures here. You always have to have everything clamped tight when you're milling. Well, anything uh, for safety and uh, a cleaner cut. Um, so I just slide those over a little bit and I got to kind of set this up to where I can get my clamping devices onto the flat spots of the cylinder head to clamp it down to these plates. Uh, this one is parallel from the bottom surface to the head gasket surface. So it makes it pretty, pretty easy to get a level uh, level surface before we mill. Uh, we use a pretty pretty expensive uh, level to ensure that we get uh, a level finish and that we don't take too much off one side or the other. Uh, that can increase compression on one cylinder as compared to the other and uh, <clears throat> that, that can cause slight problems if not resurfaced properly. Once I know that all my clamps are going to clamp the cylinder head down properly, I will tighten down the fixture that we slid over, make sure, making sure everything's tight and solid and secure and ready for it to be milled and resurfaced. So over here we got <clears throat> a pretty long level. Kind of like any other levels you see, there's a bubble in the center. We just got to line that thing up to make sure that this surface is uh, level both front to back and side to side. Um, I have a 19 millimeter socket that I use to get these uh, tightening fixtures down most of the way. Then I'll use our 19 millimeter wrench to ensure that they're tight. We wouldn't want anything being dislodged while the mill is running. It could uh, throw chunks of metal, break the machine, uh, and create a hazardous work environment, which we don't we don't want a hazardous work environment. Um, once I get all my tools over here, we would be ready to mill the cylinder head. Uh, I would drag the machine over here, or the table over to this cutter, um, as I'll do now. You always got to make sure that the head fixture isn't going to ram into the cylinder head or the tightening fixtures. We could bend our gauge or damage the machine beyond repair if we're not careful. So once we get the cylinder head underneath the gauge, we can check the level and ensure that uh, it is flat and ready to be built. So we put the level on from front to back here and verify that our bubble is centered. Once we know that that one's centered, we'll shift it over to uh, left to right. And again, verifying that the bubble is, is centered. Um, once we've done that, we can give this thing a shake test. This is probably my favorite part. Just to make sure everything's lo locked down there. Nothing's gonna fly out and hurt me. It's very, very, very important. <laughs> then we drop the head fixture down. With the gauge here, we'll decide how much we want to cut into the surface. Usually one, one to five thousandths of an inch uh, will take off the surface. Uh, then we'll turn on the cutter blade 
it'll run over the surf we'll hit the cycle button and it'll it'll go over the surface here and uh, we'll have a cleaned up product this one's already been resurfaced I don't know if you can see from that angle but uh, it is nice and shiny and smooth just like we want it and when I, I said earlier in the video that we only do 50% of our cylinder heads on this this machine and uh, over here we have a fixture that we could use to do the other 50% um, but this is kind of outdated as far as our shop's concerned. Uh, we used to use this a lot. There's a lot of ways you can bolt cylinder heads to this fixture and level them out the same way that we leveled it in there. Uh, I mean, with this fixture. For, for cylinder heads that are kind of awkward and they're not parallel from head gasket surface um, to valve cover surface. Um, we do have to use uh, W. Actually, uh, we do have a new machine that we use for the other 50% of all our resurfacing and it has a different fixture I believe we'll talk about that in another video uh, but for this video we'll just focus on the Comec RP900. Um, when we're cutting aluminum cylinder heads we do use WD to spray on the surface it helps the aluminum from sticking to the surface and causing any uh, unwanted grooves while our machine is milling uh, and it produces a really nice fine finish um, so this is pretty much where we set up our cylinder heads. They come in dirty and we have to uh, sand off the head gasket surface material to make sure that we can get an accurate level when we get it into the machine. Uh, we also will clean up the intake uh, gaskets and exhaust manifold gaskets from the cylinder heads just to give a, our customers a quality product all said and done. Um, once, we, once we get the head resurfaced, uh, we do take it out back to our wash and we'll rinse out all those uh, aluminum chips that get caught in the coolant system uh, and rinse off any dirt and debris and WD that we uh, that the cylinder head might have on it so we can give our customer a nice clean finished product. Uh, Alright, <laughs> right, well, that's our video for today. Uh, we appreciate you watching. And uh, have a great day.